Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith in Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and in today's video I have some everyday cleaning motivation for you. Making up the bed is a priority for me. It kind of sets the mood for the day and these things that I am putting away, we call them warm bags and they are basically just little cloth sacks filled with dried corn that we warm and they're so nice in the winter time. We warm them up in the microwave and then we snuggle up in bed with them. So I'm usually clearing those off before making the bed every day. And today I'm actually getting somewhat of a late start. I took Peyton this morning and I had another errand to run. So a lot of these things that I normally like to do first thing in the morning got postponed a little bit, but it's never too late, so I'm getting it done now. A lot of you have asked me what does a typical day look like, and the answer is every day is pretty much different. But this would probably be a good example of what an average day would look like for me. And if you guys want even more information about that, make sure you check out my daily cleaning routine. I'll make sure to have that in the description box for you to watch. Another question that I got recently was, do I ever leave clothes draped over the chair? And yes, I do. <laughs> I try not to make that a habit, but it does happen once in a while. And I especially like to leave a sweater out and let it air overnight before I fold it up and put it away. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm clearing off this chair because this is where I like to do my Bible study. And if at all possible, I like to start my day with my Bible study. And as I've talked to you guys before, I'm I'm using something called the Bible app and it's a chronological reading plan and I'll try to have some more information about that in the description box as well but basically if you go to the U version Bible app and then look under reading plans you can find this and basically just tells you what you need to read each day in order to read all the way through the Bible from cover to cover in one year. I take a few notes as I'm reading so that anything that stands out to me, I want to make sure that I write down. I also meet with a group of ladies at my church once a week, and these are great points for discussion as we discuss what we've read from the previous week. Whether or not I take notes, the most important thing is spending some time each day in God's Word. And I find that these unhurried moments have a huge impact on my day. I'm oftentimes tempted to skip it if I have a lot on my schedule, truth be told. But I know that when I do it, God really does multiply my time and I never regret it at the end of the day. There is also a Bible app podcast, and you can download this wherever you like to get your podcasts. And it has a really nice commentary on the day's reading, so that might be something that you would like to check out and enjoy as well. Both the app and the podcast are completely free, and I find them so helpful, so I just wanted to share them with you. After my morning quiet time, I just feel so much more at peace and also motivated and ready to tackle whatever the day brings especially when there's a situation like this one. I have dishes out on the counter from the night before that need to be put away, a sink full of dirty dishes, and a dishwasher that needs emptying. I let the dishwasher run after dinner last night, and with our busy morning, I didn't get a chance to unload it yet, so consequently, all the dirty dishes are sitting there waiting for me to take care of them. So the first order of business is to get on my apron and then start unloading the dishwasher. And because it's almost lunchtime, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some leftovers from the night before. I can easily do that by popping these on the stove, letting them warm up while I'm getting all this stuff done.
Now the kitchen is clean and lunch is ready. This recipe is something that we had the night before. It's called Coconut Red Curry Vegetable Soup and it comes out of the Minimalist Baker's Everyday Cooking Cookbook. I have the book in my Amazon store and I think that the recipe is probably copyrighted so I don't wanna put that in the description box but that is where you can find it. And you can find the link for my Amazon store in the description box below. Right after lunch, it's dishes again. <laughs> so Patrick and I put our dishes from lunch into the dishwasher and then I just quickly wash wash up the pan and utensils that I use to prepare lunch. But before I do that, I wanna dry the things that I had sitting out here. They're not completely air dried yet, so I'm going to quickly towel them off. And you are probably wondering what this weird contraption is that I have on the counter. And it's the trays that go with our coffee maker. We have a built-in coffee maker. It does make amazing coffee, but it requires a little bit of maintenance and I have to clean this pretty thoroughly once in a while. And so I'm going to dry that off, pop it back in, and then dry the rest of the dishes to make way for the things I want to dry here from lunch. You probably see me washing these silver cups often, or you see them out on our counter, and that's because we use them every day. In place of getting out glasses that have to be cleaned in the dishwasher daily, we use these because they keep our water cool throughout the day or any other liquids that we wanna keep cool or warm. They come with a lid, so if we wanna grab it on the go, they're really nice, and we each have one. So this is what we use most often for keeping ourselves hydrated. And I use my Dutch oven more often than anything for making our dinners. And I like making soups and one pot dinners, especially in the winter months. I often make more than what we can eat for dinner. And that's great because I can just put the lid on, pop them in the refrigerator and get them out, warm them up on the stove. And we have lunch with almost no effort at all. I like doing this when I can, instead of transferring our leftovers to containers to store in the refrigerator. It saves me on doing dishes which I love. I can basically get two meals out of the same pot and only have to wash it once. And also it helps me remember that those are the leftovers that we need to go ahead and finish up because I'm probably gonna wanna use that pot for dinner tonight. Now that the kitchen is once again back in order, at least until dinner time, I'm going to fix myself and Patrick a cup of tea and then I have some work to do in my pantry office. This candy cane green tea from Trader Joe's is my favorite. I always make sure to stock up because they only have it for a limited time in the winter. While my tea cools and before I start work, I like to clear up my workspace a little bit. It tends to get really cluttered here. Everybody kind of deposits their paperwork and charges their phones, all sorts of things happen in here. Plus it's an office combination pantry. So yeah, it's a busy place. <laughs> So I'm taking just a couple of minutes to sort through paperwork, see what needs to be attended to. I have a card to write to a friend while I sip my tea, and then I've gotta get busy editing. Editing is one of my favorite parts of creating content for YouTube, but it takes a lot of time. And so I've used up almost the entire afternoon and it's time for me to go get Peyton. But before I leave, I make a couple of mental notes about what I want to attend to when I get back. The first thing I want to do is clean these floors. You guys have often said that it looks like I'm cleaning a clean house. Well, take a look. We've had about a week's worth of rain and Austin, our dog, tracks in so much dirt, as you can see. And the other thing is I have some bananas that need to be dealt with. They are definitely very, very ripe, but perfect for making banana bread. And these are definitely screaming for that. So I'm going to use a recipe out of this gluten-free baking classics by Annalise Roberts. This is a great cookbook and I have it in my Amazon store as well in the gluten-free section, along with the flours that you need to make her flour blend. Baking is really fun for me. So in order to motivate myself to get the work done that I want to do, I'm going to save that as sort of a reward and get my cleaning done first. 
Another way I sort of trick myself into being more productive is to always do a little bit of dusting and tidying up before I ever vacuum or mop. And it just makes sense because when you work from the top down, if there's any dust that you stir up or knock to the floor, it can be cleaned up with a vacuum. And it's also so much more satisfying when all of those things have been attended to and you really feel like the space is clean. And whenever I get out my duster, our dog Austin gets super excited. He thinks that it's playtime. And I guess it's like a small little furry animal that he enjoys chasing around. As I'm dusting over here by the window, I notice a little patch of blue sky peeking through and I'm thrilled. I can't wait for all of these clouds to clear out and for the sunshine to come back. I use my vacuum on all of the area rugs, but for the hardwood floors today, I'm going to use my dusting mop. And this is from eCloth. All of my dusters and mops come from there. I really love this. It does such a good job of picking up all of the dust on the floor, plus any dog hair, which we have a lot of. And we have a Roomba, which runs pretty regularly. And so this is a good way for me to keep on top of things in between. I love this thing and guess who else does? If you're interested, I will have a link to eCloth in the description box for you to check it out. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but there is a ton of dust and dog hair trapped in my dust mop. And so I just quickly vacuum it off before I put it away. And then I can wash it in the washing machine whenever I feel like it needs a deep clean. My mop just uses a microfiber pad, and this is from eCloth as well, and it has an onboard water tank, and so I just spray water whenever the mop gets a little bit dry. So that's all I use for my floors, just water. It does a great job. Nothing gets them cleaner, shinier, streak-free, and there's absolutely no residue because I'm just using water.
I also love that this mop just uses the amount of water you need to clean the floors without leaving a lot of extra behind, and so the floors dry super fast. So I can get the kitchen back running again almost immediately and start making muffins. While I'm having fun making the muffins, I'm also defrosting some chili that I had in the freezer that we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So it's a simple dinner, it'll be ready in no time, and we'll be able to enjoy these muffins both for dessert tonight and for breakfast tomorrow morning. Dinner time is over and the muffins are ready. And yes, there are more dishes to be done and I have some more work to do on my video, but first I'm going to enjoy one of these warm muffins and this beautiful sunset here tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It's absolutely free and easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the comments and in the next video. Have a wonderful week.